and just stop penetration out wide. Sturgis sent backwards and down he goes inside the 25. Travion Webster got there, number 10 in maroon and gold. It'll bring up third down. And so many times, if the point of attack is downhill and you try to bounce it, typically this is what happens, especially into the short side of the field. Texas State's third and six. Here comes pressure. Vitt may have lost the football. He did. And perhaps the first big play in this game for either defense. Warhawks claim they have it. with a pocket collapse quickly that time, and instead Texas State recovers. And that pressure on third and six, a typical pass down, is more in line with the personality of Scott Stoker. He hasn't been a defensive play caller for three years, and his personality is much more aggressive, but he didn't get the chance to really do that against Army. There wasn't much of an opportunity to be, you know, an aggressive guy against the triple option. But there you see it, third and pass down, I mean, Sports Center is going to lead off with that. And instead, you fall short by just a point. Play action. Tight end has it. And the first touch, Josh Peterson. Check that. Tyler Lamb, number 88. First catch of the season for the fifth year senior. And good ball handling, then play action. And then Lamb is coming across the formation, acting like he's running that slice zone where he seals the right defensive end. Instead, he keeps going. And the quarterback suits, pulls the ball, and delivers it to him. Gain of 12 and a first down. The tackle by Devin Martinez. Here's Johnson. Warhawks starting to find a rhythm on offense for the first time. Gain of six, maybe seven on first down. And we're going to see a heavy dose of what's called the track zone. It's a zone play up front, zone blocking, a combination of double teams on the line of scrimmage. But the track part is about the offensive line forming a wall and staying on that defensive line level longer. And the purpose of that is, is to give Johnson the time to be patient and potentially take it out the back door if the defense attacks in an undisciplined manner. Isaiah Phillips back in the ULM backfield. Straight ahead through the A gap and he squirts down to the 20. That's another first down. And it's the same track zone, but with a different type of body carrying the ball. Phillips is a changeup type of guy. 5'7", a buck 90. Not as physical, although he had yards after contact right there. But just notice up front, the wall that's built by the offensive line, you stop penetration, and you, you give the running back the opportunity to be patient and decide where the right point of attack is. Third and 10. And the Warhawks will empty out the backfield. Suits with a clean pocket towards the end zone. Caught for the touchdown. <laughs> Jevin Fred brings it in for the score. And ULM an extra point away from tying this one up. And with the empty formation, and Fred is out wide, matched up on Zion Childress, a true freshman. And the freshman just didn't finish the play well. Fred does a good job of getting by the bump coverage at the line of scrimmage and finishes well on the ball. Well, the offense found its rhythm that time. Davis Hughes on for the point after. And we're tied at seven, Kelly. When you go five wide, typically it gives the quarterback the opportunity to pick the best matchup. It's hard to zone a five wide. You end up with man-to-man -man coverage. And in this case, a junior at 6'4 and fret at wide receiver is matched up on Childress, a true freshman. And the receiver wins right there. It's been held in check. Arguably the best running back in the Sun Belt. Josh Peterson has yet to catch a pass. Quick reception for ULM here by Zach Jackson. And that's a first down, so a good start for ULM. The Warhawks need points on this possession, trailing by 17. I think uh, critically they need points, 24 to 7, and it's the way the offense has looked. They've tried to continue to run the ball. They get 
tackles for loss, negative plays, they're behind the sticks, and before long they're punting. Across the middle, Malik Jackson scored his first touchdown a week ago into plus territory now. For ULM, he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. And I think there's more of an opportunity to run that. Run pass option, zone inside, slant outside, the defender steps up, and Malik Jackson runs right into that boy. I mean, that's the way you can handle one more defender. If your offensive line in reverse right now because of that troubled offensive line. Warhawks needed six, they gained seven. Whitfield makes his second catch. Stop at the 19-yard line, and just like that, the Warhawks in business. And a bit of emotion from number four in maroon and gold, Chandler Whitfield. The ULM needs some emotion. It was the fake zone inside, and Josh Peterson was going to the flat, and then coming across the field. With tempo, the screen. Hoda, first reception for number 18. And he'll be stopped at the 11. Is a good place to start. Bloomfield matched up man to man. Instead, the handoff. Johnson to the edge. Tackled at the five. He was sandwiched down between two defenders. It'll be first and goal for the Warhawks. Warhawks have won the last four in this series. Different story so far tonight. Suits will buy some time. Pressure by Isidore. Off the back foot, it was caught. Whitfield has it. Did he cross the plane? He did for the touchdown. Three catches on that drive for ULM, all by Chandler Whitfield. His last one counts for six. Foul. It's number 95. That 15-yard penalty will be assessed on the kickoff. Wayne Winkler the call, Nico Ezador. Roughing the passer penalty after the touchdown. Suits does a great job of extending the play and then directing traffic. And Whitfield was initially going out with the quarterback and then set down on the quarterback's command right on the goal line. How big was that here at the end of the Huge. first half? First touchdown of Chandler Whitfield's career, the redshirt freshman, Zachary, Louisiana. And the extra point makes it a 10 point affair. Carter. Junior from Houston. Returnable punt from his 34. Punishing run. Carter ahead to the 47. Good field position for the Warhawks for their second possession of our third quarter. Suits back on the field, sophomore making his second career start. He's completed 18 passes so far tonight. 25 attempts for a buck 87. Solid evening. Warhawks going to need a little bit more to get back in it. Four man front for the Bobcats, and here's Suits. And a pass caught. Gain of 14 and a first down. Chandler Whitfield quickly becoming Colby Suits' favorite target. And Suits is doing a good job of sorting that coverage out. Josh Johnson keeps the play alive, churning the legs inside the 15. Close to another first down for ULM. Christian Taylor, but not before he picked up another ULM first down. Suits, screen. There's Peterson, first catch to the edge. Ushered out of bounds after an eight-yard game. 0 for 1 this season. And from the right hash, 28-yard effort is true. Well, the Warhawks on the board first to start our second half. And don't go anywhere just yet. We have a two-score game. Texas State trying to get back to its uh, scoring ways. In that explosive first half. Dump off, Sheree, nowhere to run. Lasso down for a loss. You saw Jake Spavital and he told us this week, we've got to do all the little things better. 
to be able to close teams out. We had a chance against SMU, then against UTSA. It didn't happen. And Tyler Vitt has been part of the solution tonight. Yeah. With the rush, rush yards. And how about 12 of 17 through the... No gain on the last play by Hill. Plenty of time for Vitt. He's going to take off again. And off the pump fake, spun down hard and awkwardly. Yeah, he is hurt. I think he planted awkwardly on that foot, and it looked like it almost kind of got caught in the carpet. That could have been a disaster. If you're a fan of the Warhawks, let's see what Texas State can do right here. Under 10 to go. Methodical approach on this drive. A gain of one, and that's it. We'll bring up third down and long. Derek Ray. ULM only adding a field goal thus far. Final two quarters. Third and long. Conservative call. Nowhere to run. Hill. Set backwards. Pushing through was Kevin Pointer for the TFL. And Pointer is a thumper from the defensive tackle position. And the problem with the defensive line tonight hasn't necessarily been stopping the running backs. It's been stopping Tyler Vitt in that run game.